Hi guys, Dr. Cliff AUD here at ADA Convention Audacity 2018, and I'm here in the Unitron booth with Terry Lithgow. Uh, no relation to the actor, right? Probably somewhere down the line. Somewhere but. down the line, but nonetheless, <laughs> um, we're going to talk about what's new with Unitron. So thanks for joining me this afternoon. Sure. Um, it's already been a long conference for you guys at this point, but yeah. um, kind of give me an understanding. What's going on with Unitron right now? Sure. So uh, if you're familiar at all with Unitron, you know that we talk a lot about um, patient experience or customer experience. And so at Unitron, we, you hear us talk about innovating in terms of both technology innovations and also we talk a lot about experience innovations. I think this is what sets us a lot apart from some of our competitors where um, we focus on the device. We're part of Sonova, so we have access to a tremendous investment in right. technology. But at Unitron, we focus a lot on building tools and, um, and, and products that enhance the uh, experience okay. of patients. Okay, so what, is, what are those tools specifically that a patient will notice the experiential difference? Sure, let me give you a couple of examples. So first of all, we have, uh, and for, have for, had for a couple of years, a product called uh, Flex Trial devices. Okay. Now, Flex Trial means um, they are hearing aids devices that can be programmed to any level of technology, and we really encourage this idea that's been around for a while of try it before you buy it. Uh -huh. You know, we see uh, a lot of other industries, especially retail, that have focused on experience of customers. Right? Invested even in in. Um, in medical, in the medical world now, uh -huh. invested a lot in um, the, the holistic experience of patients. So, for example, with flex trial aids, patients can see what hearing aids sound like. They can uh, experience that out in their real-world environments. Now, what's really special uh, at Unitron, because everyone may have some kind of a demo device, is we've made some fantastic tools in our software. One of which is called Log It All. Log it all will capture, the hearing aids will capture how much time a patient has spent in a whole variety of environments. Then they can sit down, they can take them for a week, wear them for a week or two, sit down, look together with their hearing health care provider at what their individualized uh, kind of profile looks uh -huh. like. So like what environments they've been in, what they've been experiencing yeah, throughout that time. How much time they spend listening to music or listening to conversation in small groups or in large groups or in quiet. We know that patients today uh, have certain demands and expectations. They want uh, to have some control over the, the, the process. Right. They want to have input. Okay. So from the flex trial, because I want to make sure that the viewers right now are understanding what we talk about when we're talking about flex trial, right? Sure. So um, there's different technology levels with hearing aids and certain individuals may require a higher level of technology and some may only require a lower level of technology. That's but right. the question is, is like, where do you fall in to that? And this is what the flex trial is trying to identify, right? So you actually get a pair of these devices. They can be programmed at whatever level. Right. You take that into your environment. You're like, you know what? This bottom level, does not work for me, go back, I think I need a higher level, right? And you can exactly. be adjusted with that. Yeah, in fact, uh, the, we call this an evidence-based counseling tool. So the software can really support the recommendation and show a patient exactly why you as a clinician are recommending the advanced level or a lesser level. It builds a lot of confidence and trust between the patient and their healthcare provider. Right, and so uh, you don't feel like you're in this position of, am I overspending for something? Did was I recommended this level just because you know the provider might make more money at this level? Right, it kind of removes yes. that bias a, a lot. lot. Of people, a lot of patients these days are are skeptical. Right, and, and they should be. And they should be. Yeah. And they they want they do their research. Yep. And so this is a way for us to help the hearing health care provider create an experience that is uh, a lot more comfortable and patient focused. Very good, very good. So um, I think that that's kind of where Unitron, based on my knowledge of the industry as a whole, where you guys kind of separate yourself out, right? With this being able to, uh, because we need to touch base on this too. When you get a device, and let's say you start off at a mid-level device and then your listening demands increase because you weren't really sure 
how they were going to impact your life and you started being more social because now you can hear yeah. people again, yeah. you may require a higher level of technology and it, this lets you do that. That does happen. So we're the, we're the only manufacturer that has a fully open platform that allows for that upgradability. So it can, it can move along with a patient over the course of their changing circumstances. They could be financial, they could be their listening environments change. You might live home at home alone and then move into a, a care facility where you're in a cafeteria or a dining room, you're going to bingo night, things like that. So we see that need quite often. Right, and so just to be clear, you're keeping the same exact devices. So when you get the devices, the physical devices themselves are exactly the same. It's just upgrades within the technology of those devices. That's exactly right. right. That's exactly right. Terrific. One of the things that we have um, learned about today's consumer is they also want things to be easy. They want to have an easy experience. And so we try to develop tools, uh, a couple of other examples. Um, we have just introduced a new superpower hearing aid. Okay. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a device that's appropriate for those more severe to profound losses. Those could be some challenge, those could be challenging uh, to fit. And so uh, in our latest product called Max, we've introduced uh, a very easy method of determining the level of sophistication that that patient might want. And so one patient might um, really prefer that more classic sound that they've been listening to for 20 years. Um, another patient really might prefer what we call current, a uh, current uh -huh. preset. Okay. And, and then some patients will be somewhere in between where they can tolerate some of those more adaptive features that they have not listened to for their whole lives. Now, for me to understand this, are you talking kind of somewhere between like linear and nonlinear, like going through compression? Is that what you're talking yes, about when you mean a, classic versus? That's right. So, okay. so we have classic, we have current, and somewhere in between is called conventional. And so for the clinician who's trying to figure out what sound processing uh, strategy is going to be best for this patient, and for that patient who probably has very um, strong opinions. This just makes that fitting process very easy to find the right combination of features, both in terms of fitting formula, uh, like you mentioned, or just um, dynamic changing uh, features that, okay. that might be a little much for some patients. Okay, so three different levels within this new Max product yes. that you're talking about. Yep. What are some of the other features of it? I mean, uh, there's a lot of different buzzwords out there, yep. right? So what other things can it do? Well, uh, Max, is, Max is great because it's, it's graduated up to our new Tempest platform. Okay. So certainly faster processing, it's got some of those features that are important for this patient set, like um, frequency compression, which we see on a lot of other products as well. But you have really as much control, there's so much control you can have in our software, but that can be overwhelming. So these presets really allow it, it to be a quick, fairly quick and easy to find the right combination. Gotcha, so when did this uh, new power product come out? Yeah, so we just launched the Max about two weeks ago. So it's available for consumers to actually go in and ask for? Available at, today. Available yep. today. And I'll mention here also that Max is our latest product on, on, on our portfolio. Um, it's also available in this flex trial uh, process, right? So uh, clinicians can have trial aids and when it's appropriate, they might send a, a, a patient with this profound loss out with some trial aids to see how they do. Very good, very good. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really yeah. appreciate it. It's a lot of great information, a lot of good stuff coming out of Unitron. Uh, if you haven't inquired about it already, uh, it's at least worth asking about. So, uh, Terry, thank you so much for your time. Cliff, really appreciate you. it. I'm yeah. sure we'll be doing this again. All right. All right, guys, care. that's it. Thank we'll you. see you next time.